Let's all admit that social security is broken, but how can it be fixed? I'm gonna share with you this article right here. Got a really, got a lot of really good information in it, so I'm gonna share that with you. Before I dive into it, uh, if you appreciate the social security updates, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more social security updates. Let's just get right into it here. So social security is broken. Here's how to fix it. So the social security administration has come under significant scrutiny in recent months after recipients were asked to pay back large sums after benefits were accidentally overpaid. But its problems loom considerably larger than the estimated 1 million beneficiaries who have been asked to pay back sums to the government agency as a funding black hole threatens to put the agency in peril just over a decade from now. As it stands, according to the SSA, trust funds are due to run out in 2034, according to a recent report by the American Academy of Actuaries, AAA. If Congress does not take action before then, the program may be faced with an automatic 20% benefit cut for the current beneficiaries, the need to increase Social Security taxes by 25%, or face a combination of benefit cuts and tax increases. Payments from the SSA, which include retirement benefits, SSDI, SSI, among others, often make up the bedrock of financial means for some of America's most vulnerable individuals and families. It is also a vital element of retirement income for millions of Americans. Social Security is financed through a dedicated payroll tax paid by employers and employees in America. Social security benefits now exceed social security revenues. This comes from uh, someone from a think tank saying that shortfall is being made up by the program trust fund, which accumulated over the past four decades. But unless federal policymakers take action, the trust fund will run out in 2033 and social security will be able to pay only 80% of scheduled benefits. But the question is, how? According to the AAA report, there are a myriad of ways which the system could be changed to cling on to solvency in the years to come. So how can Social Security be fixed? Let's dive into this. There are two main ways the AAA proposes a fix for the SSA's upcoming funding shortfall. Broadly speaking, they fall under two categories, tax increases and benefit cuts. Remove the income limit, limit for taxation. Subjecting all earnings to taxation is one option floated by the group. Currently, Social Security taxes apply only to earnings up to $160,200. It's actually going to be higher in 2024, $168,000. But removing this cap could result in higher contributions from high-income individuals. However, as this altercation alone would address only 78% of the projected 2034 shortfall, additional adjustments are recommended by the uh, AAA. Another option is to impose taxes on all income exceeding $400,000 or apply the payroll tax to 90% of total earnings. According to the report, these modifications might address 55% and 36% of the anticipated shortfall, respectively. The AAA also proposes another fix raise the payroll tax rate by 25%. By increasing the Social Security payroll tax from 6.2% to 7.75%, the uh, for both workers and employers, there could be sufficient funds to cover 100% of benefits in 2034. However, this elevated tax might uh, this elevated tax rate might pose a financial burden for low-income workers and may not fully cover future benefit costs, the AAA has said. But increasing taxes is naturally not a popular idea across th swaths of the political spectrum being something Republican are ideologically opposed to. But the other option is to cut benefits, something that typically won't sit well with Democrats and those positioned further to the left. 
Other options, according to the AAA, include cutting benefits for recipients. One such way is to adjust benefits for high-income individuals who haven't yet claimed in various ways, something that has already considered by lawmakers. Individuals with high incomes in the benefit formula might see a gradual reduction in their replacement rate, dropping from 15% to 5% over five years. Those above median income could experience a reduction from 32% to 10%, Alternately, limitations on the growth of the in initial benefit for those at the taxable min maximum of $160,200 might be implemented. Another option is a means test that eliminates benefits for individuals with high incomes or substantial assets. The AAA also floats the idea of incrementally increasing the full retirement age, which is the age at which beneficiaries become eligible for 100% of their earned benefits. Originally set at 65, it has moved to 67 based on changes made in, the, in 1983. Further adjustments could be made to account for longer spans and careers, potentially raising the age by one month every two years or two months for every 12 years if implemented promptly, these changes could address 3% to 10% of the 2034 shortfall. Measures to protect individuals with low incomes and shorter lifespans who may not be able to work as long could be incorporated. Modify the annual cost of living adjustment by adapting, adopting the chained consumer price index in another way to help the SSA solve its problems. This would result in a decrease of approximately 0.3 percentage points in benefit increases each year, according to the report, and could cover 13% of the projected 2034 shortfall. An alternative proposal involving the consumer price index for the elderly, the CPIE, uh, would increase annual benefit adjustments by an average of 0.2 percentage points, according to the report, with costs rising by about 8% of the 2034 shortfall. According to a poll conducted exclusively for Newsweek, it said 28% of those asked strongly agree with the statement, the social security system needs to be reformed. The poll was conducted on December 8th among a sample population of 1,500 eligible voters in the U.S. Uh, so yeah, really curious what your thoughts are on this. Uh, it seems that the theme here is to tax the rich more, uh, especially those who are making more than $168,000 for 2024, uh, tax that higher. So I'm really curious, what are your thoughts on that in terms of how to fix Social Security? Let us know your thoughts on that. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Oh, hi guys, I didn't see you there. Hi guys, this is Bella, this is the tip of the day. What you should always do, think of something positive in your mind and stay creative. Because if you don't do those two things, you'll, you'll not be like, more creative and stuff because you need to exercise your mind to be creative and stuff like I found this now I'm doing it you need to find something creative in your mind that you can dabba, 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 dabba. you need to find something creative in your mind that you can do if you want to see a really fiery speech on Representative John Larson talking about increasing Social Security benefits, you're not going to want to miss this video right over here. So click that video and I'll see you in that video. You'll hear from Representative John Larson on how to increase Social Security benefits. So click that video and I'll see you in that video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.